Dope Sports Talk Worldwide. It's some news for the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. Ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now, it's back to the heavyweights. We said we're going to stay on this one. Right? We got three undefeated heavyweight champions. Right? Three of them. And that's Anthony Joshua, Joseph Parker, and Deontay Wilder. We're trying to do something about that. So the newest news is this. The promoter of, of uh, Joseph Parker, David Higgins, he said, well, you know, look, I'm not going to go to England to meet Eddie Hearn, the promoter of Anthony Joshua, until I see some concessions, until I see him budget. The, the numbers are out there. Eddie Hearn is offering 70-30% uh, split. That means he's offering Joseph Parker 30%. And David Higgins said, I'm not going there until I see him budging at least 30%. And his reasoning is, guys, I know a lot of people, you know, see it differently. But that would be exactly what Carlos Tackham, the last opponent for Joseph Parker, it would be called what Carlos Tackham got. That's the exact same thing. All right. And or Pulev would have gotten because Pulev was his mandatory challenger. Pulev's last five opponents, uh, five opponents had an average of ten losses. Right, so you're going to offer a heavyweight champion, an undefeated heavyweight champion, the exact same thing as these two guys. Um, you know that would irk me as a person, just because I would feel like you know see, see, these guys are feeling entitled, and they're diminishing my accomplishments because he's filling stadiums. It's just not a good enough reason. You know, you're talking your legacy. You want, you want some people on your ledger. And an undefeated champion with a belt is one that has to be five percent uh, worth 5% more than a mandatory challenger or a replacement for a mandatory challenger. And a mandatory who probably shouldn't have been mandatory. You know? So that is the reason. Once David Higgins sees that uh, Eddie Hearn will budge, <clears throat> then he will take that trip to England. All right, so I think it's a little bit fair, but the numbers out there, 70 30. So, you know, like uh, your boy Eddie Hearn said, they're single digits away. But let's see how that works out, because Higgins not going until he sees a little something. Okay, now another little note that's very interesting is um, they're talking about Barcelona's new camp um, stadium. Reason why? 99,000 capacity. That's why. So, you know, they're talking big things, and uh, I don't know if that would happen anywhere in Europe, but I, it probably will get full because English can get to Spain real quick. You know, so I'm going to get a vacation real quick. So it's, it's a possibility for that to happen. That's what David Higgins is talking about. I don't know if Eddie Hearn and his team and Anthony Joshua will go for that. I'm pretty sure they wanted to have it on, on the island and deal with that like that on in England. That's what I think. Uh, so I don't know if this going to happen, but it just shows you where they're trying to have this fight. We try to have 99,000. So I wonder where they're going to have the Deontay Wilder fight, you know, on the moon or some, uh, somewhere where it's, you know, 200, 300,000. I don't know where they're going to have it because, it's, you know, it's going to fill up stadiums. This is what it's looking like. So this is very interesting. Now, another thing that's interesting is um, Eddie Hearn definitely wants a rematch clause. Now, a rematch clause is not a bad thing. We don't want to, you know, hey, everyone can get hit. They get clipped and they get their chance to get it back. Right? The only thing that we, the consumer, those that would like to see one heavyweight champion, we probably wouldn't like that so much right now because it's like, hey, somebody got beat, let's move on. Deontay Wilder's over there waiting. You know, and all you gotta do is fight him and then we have one champion. That's the only reason. But normally a rematch clause, especially in the heavyweight division, hey, you can get beat. I want to rematch it and, and, and right that wrong. And then if he does beat him, then hey, you got a trilogy. So we wouldn't have unification for who knows how long because of a rematch clause. Rematch clause also means I know there's a possibility of me getting beat. So it's a lot of little interesting things going on in these negotiations. And like I said, you know, um, this is going to be a good fight. I'm hoping that Joshua's team is not considering this to be an easy fight. We talked about it, you know, Tyson, uh, Mike Tyson thought Hollyfield was an easy fight. Manny Pacquiao thought Jeff Horn was an easy fight. You know, it's things like that. There, you know, there are easy fights in boxing for some boxers like Floyd Mayweather and McGregor. 
You know, there's easy box uh, fights, but these heavyweights, all of them have strengths and weaknesses. And all of them have something special. Not just your guy. Whoever your guy is. If your guy's Deontay Wilder uh, or, or Joseph Parker or Anthony Joshua. All these guys are formidable. They're undefeated for a reason. And guys, let's be honest. We like to call people they're, they're fighting bumps. But you're running out of bumps. You're running out. Because like I've said in other videos, they've taken care of everybody that's out there. The only ones that they haven't taken care of were the ones that were doped, which means it's their fault. Now, there's so many people that's doped that dope agencies started to let these dudes fight anyway. That's what's happening. Because it's like, wait, if we kick it up, everybody that's doped, we're going to mess around and have, and have just three or four people fighting. So some kind of way they're slipping them through here, you know, and a lot of fighters are upset about that. Now, I'm just going to note this before I go here. Deontay Wilder, I'm going to say it again, he pays people extra plays Vada extra to do some extra testing before his fights. Extra testing, right? That's why people are getting popped. And it might be a reason why people ain't in a rush to fight him. Let's see how that works out. Dome Sports Talk, worldwide, and I'm about to hear y'all.